My room is set up with different centers. We have a dramatic play area, a reading area, some discoveries areas, blocks, puzzles. And in all of those spaces, we have learning targets. What's this area of our classroom? Pizza. It's our pizza shop. And what do we do in this space? You can order pizza. You can order pizza. This is our dramatic play. Um, this area changes probably monthly to kind of relate to the theme that we're doing. And it's a great area for students to work on some of their social emotional skills. They really have to work on turn taking, sharing materials. Uh -huh. What are some of the things that we're learning about when we're in this area of our classroom? Listen to others' ideas. Mm -hmm. And you can dress up and take taunts. Very good. How about right here, Leah? This is the sand. This is the sand table, isn't it? And what can we do here? We can play in the sand. We can play in the sand. So our learning target in this area is I can touch a variety of materials. We really just want kids to explore different sensory materials. Some of our students are kind of defensive to touching um, messy things, so we just want to give them a chance where they can explore some of those materials. and. In here today, we also have some letters, so we try and pair it with another activity that they can do so they're not just playing with messy things, so they're actually exploring some other stuff as well. I communicate learning targets in a variety of ways. Um, we talk about them all day long, so sometimes they're introduced at large groups, sometimes small groups, sometimes individual, and it really just depends on the students' needs. Allie, what's this area of our classroom? Puzzles. Their puzzle area. And what are some of the things we're learning about in this area? What are some of our targets in this section of our room? I can play games. Playing games in this area. And I can count my numbers. Learning about numbers. And, and I can play with a puzzle. Yeah. This area, we call it our puzzle area. It really works on some cognitive um, skills with the students, some problem solving. So we have a variety of turn-taking games that they can play with each other, working on turn-taking. We also have a variety of materials where it really involves some of that cognitive thinking, um, including puzzles and, and a few other materials. Leah, what's this area of our classroom? Uh, book center. It's our book center. And what are some of the things we're learning when we're reading about books? We're picking a book mm -hmm. and reading a book. You're reading the book? And looking at pictures. Mm -hmm. This is our, our book center, our reading center, and really it's just a place for students to practice literacy skills. Um, we're teaching them to turn pages one at a time, some of those just really basic skills, and then teaching them to read the pictures. Some of them will say that they're not readers because they can't read the words, so encouraging them just to look at the pictures and tell a story based on that. Allie, what do we do in this area of our classroom? We can draw pictures. We can draw pictures. What's this area called? Writing Center. Writing Center. And what are some of our targets in the Writing Center? What are some of the things we're learning to do? You can draw people. Mm-hmm. You can draw your name and you can draw shapes. That's awesome. This area is our writing center, um, and it gives kids an opportunity to practice writing, to practice drawing, to get familiar with a variety of materials. I think student ownership is extremely important in the classroom. It lets kids kind of guide their own learning. It makes them feel empowered. Um, it gives them kind of their own perspective. It gives them a voice. That's what we want, to me, a new word that kind of struck in my head was independence and that's what we want for all of our children is to know what to do and to be able to do it without a teacher standing over there showing going what do you need to do next what are we going to do next